All right, this one we're going from molecules to moles, the reverse of the previous problem. Again, there's no grams involved, so we're only looking for um, moles and molecules. We don't get the GFM involved here. Uh, let's write down what we're given. I've got this many molecules, that's the given. And I want to find out how many moles I have. Well, let's set it up. 8.4 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Oops. And uh, that's going to equal some number of molecules, right? So if I have molecules in my answer here, that's going to go up top. Oh, actually, what do I want? I don't want molecules. I want moles. So you really need to check and make sure you're looking, um, you understand what you have and what you want. So I've got moles is what I want here. So it'll have to be moles up here, and then I'll need molecules down here. So these will cancel out. This will be moles. So I happen to know that there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, that's that Avogadro's number, molecules in one mole. Now that my problem is set up and I see that molecules will cancel out, I'm going to be left with moles, which is what I want. If I started out and didn't catch my error, I would be able to catch it at the end because things wouldn't match up. Well, now you have to figure out how you're going to divide 8.4 times 10 to the 23rd times 1 by this. What's kind of nice is you can also cancel out the 10 to the 23rd, since it's the same on the top of the bottom, top and the bottom there. So you're really only dividing 8.4 by 6.02. If you do that, you will find out that um, we end up with 1.395. We're going to round that to 1.40 moles. So what we did, we started out with our molecules, set up our conversion factor here. We had molecules on the top, we needed on the bottom to cancel it out. We put the value we wanted to end up with on top, canceled, did our division, and we got 1.4 moles. That makes sense because if 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd is 1 mole, this is going to be a little bit more, and 1.40 is a little more than one. So that does make sense, um, and uh, we can be pretty comfortable with our final answer.